Hi friends! I'm Nancy Novak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm making a wintry friendship card and here it is and I am using Stampin' Up's Sheltering Tree stamp set and for the little tiny birdie it's actually from Sprinkles of Life and there's the bird right there. So let's get started. First thing is all of the um, sizes that I am using. I'm using a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it is eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. For my matte piece, I'm using uh, Marine Mist and it is five inches by, it's five and a quarter inches by four inches. This I call my stamping piece. We're going to emboss it today. And that is five inches by three and three quarter inches. I have a piece of gray cardstock that's three inches by four inches. And I'm gonna mat that on a piece of marine mist or marina mist, something like that. And it is four and an eighth by three and a, it's four and an eighth by three and an eighth. On my original card, I used dapper denim. And again, this one is the marine mist blue. You can use any kind of blue you want or any background color. I just like the way that looks. And then I have a scrap and this is four inches by five eighths and this is a scrap of Whisper White and it's three and three quarters by a half of an inch. So the first thing I want to do is take this piece. I always call that my stamping piece or my working piece and I'm going to run that through the big shot and give it some texture. So we'll bring the Big Shot in, and our platform, and our two sandwich pieces. And I am using the Softly Falling Embossing Folder. quick and easy. That's all done. Get that out of the way. And there is my textured piece of paper. And the next thing I'm going to do is stamp my tree, my basic tree. And I'm going to use the basic black archival ink. And I'm going to bring in the tree trunk with all the branches. And I think I'm going to bring in my old catalog and stamp on that. This is a polymer stamp so I like to give it some cushion underneath. So I got that all inked up. I'm going to put it right in the middle of my card. And there you go. Good. And then I think I will stamp the sentiment. So bring in this little piece of white and I pre-measured so this sentiment fits perfectly on this little piece of paper. If you want, you can stamp it on a bigger scrap and then cut it down to size so it fits your card. So we'll see how I do with this. So I inked it up in dapper denim. I am using dapper denim ink. It's just a little bit darker than the Marina Mist. So this fits perfectly on here. And there you go. I just love that font. It's so pretty. Friendship is a sheltering tree. So we'll get that out of the way. And we're going to bring in our tree and Versamark. And we're going to start the embossing process. So I'm going to bring in this stamp, which has all the tree leaves on it. And I'm going to ink that up in the Versamark. Sure you have it all coated. Stamp that on the tree. And then I'm going to bring in this little piece which is the snow at the bottom of our card. So I have a little bit of the card showing. There's that. 
And then there's this little teeny tiny stamp that uh, has some snowflakes on it. So I'm just going to add a few of those up at the top of the card. There's some space up there. Okay. Close up the Versamark. Bring in the stamping powder. So what I'm going to do here is just fold this in half. That'll catch my powder. And just sprinkle your embossing powder all over. And then tap it so it goes on all the Versamark spots that we stamped. Knock off the excess. And then put our powder back in the jar. I'm going to bring my, this back in. And I have a little paintbrush. If you get any little extra spots that you don't want the embossing powder on, now's the time to knock it off. I'm just going to do it with a little paintbrush. Clean it up a little bit. This is a great card to practice embossing with the powder because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a little snowy scene, wintry scene, so it's a good card to practice on. Okay, next I'm going to turn on my heat tool and I'm going to let it get warm before I point it at the card. I don't want it to blow off the uh, powder. So I'm going to turn it on, it's going to get loud, and I'm going to heat emboss this. And as I'm doing it, you will see it change. So hold on, here we go. So you can kind of see it changing right before your eyes. Oh, I see I missed a spot. And I was just going to say, you kind of look at it, tilt it on an angle, make sure you got it all melted. And let me fix that one little spot. Okay. If we didn't have it all heat embossed correctly, the, the powder would just fall off. So we don't want that to happen. Now we're going to put our card together. So I think I'll put that off to the side for a minute. And I'll start with my... Um, textured embossed piece and I think I am going to use Tombow glue today instead of the snail. I had this in my, we made this card today in my card class and some of the ladies were using the snail and they were having a little bit of trouble with it so we used the glue and they really liked it. So there's more than one way to, to adhere this and if you have a little bit too much glue what you want to do if you think it's going to push out just take a little scrap piece of paper and kind of um, thin it out a little bit. Okay. So we have all that heavy falling snow at the bottom of our card. We're going to put that there. And then I'm going to put this piece on the little matte blue piece. This is a brand new Tombow glue, so it's really coming out. So again, I'm going to push that glue into the center of the card so it doesn't come squirting out the edges. What's nice about using the Tombow glue is it also gives you a little bit more freedom to move your card piece around. If you don't get it perfectly centered, you can kind of move it. It's a little bit more forgiving. That's going to go on there. Then I have our sentiment. And I guess I'll just snail this one on here. So this is going to be centered right on this piece. Like that. And I'm going to bring in my card base and attach the first part. So 
so it's really cold here in Michigan so that's where I got my wintry scene card idea from it's like a so cold okay this piece I am going to pop up on dimensions so put one in each corner one in the middle that should be good take the backing off of these and center it and then this piece right here it fits perfectly like right there so now this piece here I'm not going to glue the whole back of it because it's kind of on each end it's up in the air away from the card so I don't want to put glue there so I'm just going to put glue in the center or I think I'll do it with glue dots all right so I'm just going to put some glue dots in the center and close to the edge but not all the way to the edge and we'll stick this down right about there we want some of this snow to show Okay, and I think I forgot to mention that we needed to stamp a little bird. So bring in my dapper denim, and I stamped a little bluebird, and I then I took my watercolor pencils, and I have Pacific Point. And I just colored them in a little bit like that and then I fussy cut him out with my snips and you just you don't want to cut it out exactly to the edge you leave a little bit of white space and you cut him out that and I think I will put him on with a glue dot and put him wherever you want put him right there and I have a little bow that I made this is the new silver twine, which is in the um, occasions catalogs. It's a silver baker twine. And I think I'll put that on again with a little glue dot. So the glue dot's a little bit bigger, so I am just squishing it behind the knot of that bow. And we're done. What do you think? I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I actually cannot find, oh here, okay, it's right in front of me and I couldn't find the original card. So there you go, we're all done. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, let me know, leave a comment, or you can subscribe. And you can also visit my blog, www.stampandshout.com. And that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.